Hi, I normally make my videos on TikTok, but recently I did a Q&A and the questions were too long to answer there, so I'm going to make a video here instead. People call me Roach, you can also call me Hal, and I draw these characters for a series with the working title of Icor Valley. The questions are for the characters Bella, Herrick, and Elaine, all from the series. And uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, if you want context, you can go there to check it out. If you don't want context, that's good too. And if you came over from TikTok, well, uh, hey guys. Okay, so the first question. How does Herrick and Elaine know each other? Are they related? Herrick helps Elaine out around the house. They're not technically related. How they met, uh, you'll find out. But uh, for now, he just helps her around because the town they live in has a really poor support system for the elderly. And like every typical old person, Elaine just refuses to move. So she often ended up having to fend for herself before he started visiting. But now that there's this sudden biological phenomenon in the house, Mr. Zoology Major over here can now obsess over this little old lady service dog. So it's a win-win for the both of them now. How does Bella see? Bella has multiple types of sight. The main two she uses is one where she can sense electricity in the air. The other one is through sensing emotional energy that comes off of animals, which you know would be super useful if she was like a therapy dog, but then she'd have to actually care about you first. And then her last eyesight is the real eyes that you see come out every once in a while. They see on the same level as the average human, so while it's kind of good in animal terms, it's pretty bad in demon terms. How does Bella interact with bees? So this question kind of seems random at first, but it actually fits in pretty well. Bees in this universe work as little messengers between all the realms of beings. So between like angels, demons, ghosts, monsters, even humans if they knew how to utilize them. So Bella in particular actually respects them a lot and she tries not to bother them with their work. And in return, they don't really mess with her either. Does Bella know other hellhounds? Does she have any siblings? Bonus how other dogs treat her. Bella does know of some other hellhounds. When she was born in hell, she grew up in a litter of them. They're not technically related, they were just born at the same time. But since these dogs are used for different tasks, they eventually separated from each other. At this point in time though is also when she heard the most about other famous demons, so like the Yule Cat was one that she heard about down there. When it comes to normal dogs, they are very wary of her and they'll often feel anxious around her, but on a rare occasion, she might find one she gets along with. When did Elaine retire? What did she work as? Elaine retired in her 50s, but before that she was a school teacher. What's Bella's favorite movie? I've never watched the movie, but Bella is constantly compared to the dog from The Thing. So, you know, I'm sure she'd find the movie very relatable, and she'd probably get along with it pretty well. How Bella was created. Does she age? The easiest answer is magic. Uh, but she does age. It's different from humans. But, you know, technically, yes. Are you going to make this into a comic? I would love to make this a comic one day. I've been actually working on the plot and the timeline that I would want for it. These TikToks have really helped me in like solidifying the concepts that I want to like work with. And I hope that I can even maybe do like a test pilot chapter in the future, but I don't know when I would start that. How does Bella's fake mouth work? Is her for real? So I did say in the TikTok that her fur was fake. But to go into a bit more detail, I'm currently seeing it as kind of a symbiotic relationship between Bella and like a more, I guess like Hell's version of a fungus, to where it kind of exists on its own plane of uh, being, but they work together into creating this fake persona of a dog. So it feels real, all the parts of it feel real, but it doesn't work the same. So the mouth especially, there's no air pipe or like food pipe for things to go down, it just ends where the tongue, the little fake tongue ends. Why does Bella always have her collar on? This question was kind of funny because, you know, dogs are wearing collars a lot. I mean, it's an identification thing, but you know, 
some dogs are just always wearing their collars. But for Hellhounds, they do have a bit of another purpose because they also work as the seal for contracts. If a Hellhound is wearing a collar, they have a contract with someone. If they're not, well, then they're not in contract. What is Bella's favorite treat? Batteries. Well, it's batteries and peanut butter. Her main source of energy comes from the electricity around her, but she still likes to eat real food. It's not that she has to, she just simply enjoys it, and she especially loves it when she gets to grab it from countertops. Bella concept art. Alright, this is the long answer, so you might want to sit down for this one. I knew I wanted a hellhound that doubled as a service dog, so I wanted the design to feel normal enough that she could blend in with society easily, but also still suggest a more demonic origin to her. So I first made a base for the style, but I ended up simplifying it to my normal style so that I'd be able to draw her faster. I knew I wanted her to have a weird mouth, that was just the biggest thing I hyper fixated on for some reason. At first I was gonna have it so that her muzzle would split open and that would like reveal her mouth, but I didn't know how to draw it and I felt like it was too similar to the monsters and stranger things, so I scrapped that idea pretty quickly. I then decided to put the mouth on her forehead because some dogs have a really prominent crease in their forehead and I thought that that'd be good for the style because when I draw it to normal people it'll look like I'm just identifying that crease but then once you know that that's the mouth indicator it changes meaning. There were some things that I simply just forgot about, one of them being that her fur originally was going to act like tarantula hair to where it can come off and like get under your skin and give you a rash. Which, I mean, that's what the nettle mouse does now anyway, so it's good that I forgot about it, I guess. I also was gonna have these little spikies come out of the back of her, but those ended up getting swapped for the tendrils that come out of her mouth and eyes. Because again, the further I went along, it was just like, yeah, if a dog had these, they, they would blow cover immediately. There's no hope in, like, looking the slightest bit normal. And then the last big thing that I changed was at one point she had these little ring bracelets. A bit of lore between the angels and demons of this world is that when angels fall, they have these little rings on them and the eyes will close on them to signify their little death and like conversion into demonhood. But Bella isn't a fallen angel and she was never planned to be, so I ended up scrapping it and then just giving her the collar instead. It's not really that important of a concept, it's more important in the sequel story, but uh, yeah, that's just a bit of fun fact I guess. And then when I was deciding her name, she had a couple different options I almost went with. I was deciding between Sydney, Stella, and Lady. Those names came from because originally Elaine was going to be a man, and I was trying to think of what an old southern man would name his dog. But I didn't really like them, and Elaine ended up being Elaine. So I ended up looking up the most common dog names, and Bella came up, and I decided to go with that one. Which works because she's also meant to kind of represent the stereotype of a dog, like how a third party would describe one if they never seen one before. So it worked out. Okay, alright, I get it. This is probably the biggest request I get in every video everyone wants to know, I get it. So you guys really want to see it, huh? Alright, so 